In the name of God, in meeting with this elite group of jurists in the Jamahiriya, my purpose was to address certain subjects uh, that need reflection. In the early days of the revolution, certain legislation was made in response to the needs of that stage. All politicians and jurists are aware that a revolution must be accompanied by certain harsh, harsh measures. Those measures must be time-bound and of exceptional nature, like wartime legislation. Such measures cannot be permanent. or else they would constitute a denial of justice. They must be reconsidered. It was our hope that Libya, with its, uh, with its revolution, would become a model for freedom, popular democracy, and the state free from oppression and injustice. However, with the measures that I mentioned above, Libya became another conventional state, even a dictatorial or police state. This is uh, deeply regrettable. We are not like that, nor do we want to be like that. It so happens that we are in the third world, in a region that is branded as backwards. It was difficult for the world to distinguish between what happened here and any other coup d'etat that took place in Sudan, Iraq, Mali, Indonesia or Argentina. All of the events of the last year were purely superficial. <laughs> 